Okay, guys, we're back. Uh, we're going to analyze the stock from April 3rd. So before we go into today's stock, which is over here on April 3rd, let's go into April 1st uh, and let's look at what happened. Uh, this one, C-O-I-N, which means Coinbase here, it went down $13.01. Then it was down $4.57. And if you look at it, I'm taking hits. Okay, or we're taking hits, I should say, on this stock. And because we're taking hits, when it did something, like go back up over here at $5.74 a share, you really only see a little bit of increase. And while you're saying this, somebody may be asking how stupid is that to keep losing money, but it's not necessarily stupidity, it's how the market works. Sometimes you're going to be up, sometimes you're going to be down. And as we told you, we want to make sure that this price, this was a closing price, $251.58, or it's almost closing because we're a little bit before five. We want to make sure that this price, okay, this price will eventually go up to something like $265 or $275, or maybe even $300. And what's happening is when we invested, we uh, thought we originally invested with about $1,000. So we thought, hey, you know what? How many times have we gone, bought clothes we don't wear, done something else, and we've actually lost or thrown away $1,000 bought groceries, didn't eat all the food. So we said we can lose this $1,000 within a year. So far, we've gone up a little bit, but not quite as much as we wanted to. This isn't bad. This is the gain that we made Okay, overall. And this is what's been invested since we bought this. And remember, we bought this uh, back in 2023. Okay. So it's really not doing too bad. It's not doing the best we wanted to do, but it's not doing as bad. There are some others in the portfolio that are doing a little bit better, but because of the type of stock they are, we're not going to get into those. And when we say that, because they're technology stocks. And these are kind of tied to cryptos and like currency stocks. You know what I mean? So like at the currency level, they're kind of new to the market. They're less... They're volatile, but not as volatile as some of the technology stocks. And we didn't want to just do what some people say. Just go out and buy as many technology stocks as you can. We wouldn't tell you that. We're just looking at two specific stocks and analyzing them. Now, back on this market, we were over here. Bitwise 10 Crypto Index, UT. This is the symbol, B-I-T-W. So if you're looking for it, no matter what trading platform, see if I don't know if all the trading platforms will let you trade these two. That's what you're looking for. We have 52. You don't have to do 52. You can do five. You can do four. You can do one. Okay, you can do whatever you want. And it went down three cents. Okay, as of April 1st. April 2nd took a real nosedive and went down $1.45. But guess what? Came back up 55 cents today. So that's not bad. Okay, but because it's only worth $33.25, and remember, it went down, it went down, then it went up, and we don't know if tomorrow's going to go down. That's how your market looks. You, this price is not going to stay the same. Consistent pricing, we would hope, would go up, kind of stay here, and then kind of go like that, and then stay there for a bit. But that's, that's like what a, the graph of a good stock would look like, but that hasn't happened so far. So... This is overall the gain since this was bought like towards the fall of 2023. So that's what happened here. You had $28.60. It was your daily. This is just a daily game. It's not a lot. Okay, but overall, because of the number of shares you have, which is 52, that's what it is. This is your daily. $80.36 on the Coinbase. Great deal. And we're just waiting before we buy any more. That's pretty much what we did. Okay, we're not going to buy any more, but we're not going to sell either. We're just going to see how this plays out. 
and these are your comparisons. Thanks for watching. Have a great afternoon.